Hello friends and welcome to another Popper League. Today we're going to be playing Hot Dogs, the Kiln Fiend deck. This is the list that we're playing today. Um, a lot of people have started to move towards playing the, uh, the two drop creatures exclusively. Um, I still like having access to some of the one drops, but um, this is where a lot of people have been moving to. So I definitely want to... Uh, give this a try, right? If more people are playing the uh, the two-drop version, then uh, maybe they're right. So we are going to be playing Burning Prophet instead of Mage Ring Bully. Um, personally, I think the Scry is absolutely worth it. Uh, we also get the option of holding the Burn Burning Prophet back. It doesn't have to attack every turn. It also has three toughness instead of two, although it doesn't have actual prowess, so its toughness isn't going to um, increase as we uh, continue casting spells. So we can't, like, uh, Lava Dart from the Graveyard to save Burning Prophet from a Lightning Bolt or whatever. Um, I really, really like the Underworld Rage Hound in the sideboard. Um, I've been playing a little bit of Rage Hound in the, uh, Is It Curve deck, and it fit really, really well there. So I'm imagining that we bring the Rage Hound in uh, against any matchup that has a lot of removal, so that we'll be able to overwhelm their removal in the long term. Um, I think we also bring in Brute Force versus Lightning Bolts. Lightning Bolts when we need removal, Pyroblast whenever the opponent has blue spells and flaring pain. I imagine that's mostly for uh, prismatic strands, but also would work against Moment's Peace or even a Circle Protection Red. All right, uh, so that's the deck. I think that uh, it's fairly straightforward. Just play a creature and attack. So uh, let's get into it. Didn't this 5-0 yesterday? Sure did. And it's been doing rather well in the challenges as well. Evolving wilds into planes. God, Barrow's faithful. Speak of Azuria's familiars, and here it is. Yeah, you're telling me, mana traders. Not a snap. Now we'll should be able to get some pretty good damage in the in on this turn. Get to go uh, Anger, Muta, Battle Rage. We could looting, but that cost some mana so we wouldn't be able to anger and battle rage we could looting play anger and just hold up apostles blessing and try and go for it next turn Uh, how much damage are we actually looking at now? All right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think this is actually lethal. It's a lot.
All right. Um, the twenty. This goes up to twenty. This goes up to thirteen. Yeah, I think that's lethal. They just waited to see if I saw it. Apparently, I did. All right, cool. Let's bring in Pyroblast. It's so hot or cold. So hot or cold. Oh, yeah. Deck looks great. Just absolutely crushed familiars on turn three. Was that turn three or four? Turn three. All right. Um, don't think we really like mutagenic growth. Not the best card if they're not playing lightning bolts. I mean, still obviously good, but uh, it's not saving our creatures from damage, is what I'm trying to say. Could bring, bring in lightning bolts to try and kill their familiars? You know, some versions of this deck aren't even running Manamorphose. Pretty sure the version I was playing last time wasn't running it. Yeah, no Metamorphose. It's running Fists of Flame instead. Non-land, that's what I like to see. Holding up double blue here. Looks like a counterspell. Let's not play into it. I think I'm going to Pyroblast this. Might have been a bit aggressive, but uh, they don't have any white mana, so what are they going to do? Won't be playing familiars, that's for sure. I would like to find an Apostle's Blessing if possible. Or a Pyroblast. Either one would be good. Festival Crasher. Alright, well thanks a lot for stopping, stopping in, stream team. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you next time. Jeez, this is just lethal if they don't have um, Snap or something. I, I, I think we have to play around their stuff, right? Because they're going to have something. Oh, one thing they have is Counterspell. Hold up that one mana, make it look like maybe we can protect our creature. Oh, uh, well, actually, we can't. Uh, they don't have a lot of cards in hand right now, but... Um... Our Kaomancer is really good. They get to pull back Hydroblast, and that's just like the best card. Ooh. Wow.
Where were you? Now we play the waiting game, where I wait to draw two creatures, and opponent waits to draw white mana. And ancestral Anger, their creature, so that I can uh, draw a card. We draw a mountain. I'm going to leave that mountain in hand for uh, Faithless Looting. In the meantime, opponent is... Uh, Getting a lot of cards in hand, which makes me scared. Oh no, another Okeomancer. Return Counterspell. Brutal. Uh, let's get rid of their Hydro Blast anyway. Oh, Evolving Wilds, so they're about to get white mana. Festival Crasher, here comes Counterspell. Now, if they have Ephemerate, this game is over. Hey there, Blow Bear. Yeah, it always feels like I'm playing against familiars. Alright, this game is over. All right, Parallax is on a mulligan, but how deep? This requires further analysis. Deep analysis. All right, I'm going to throw down Kiln Fiend first here. Try and go for a turn three kill. Oh, uh, they're untapped here. That's so scary. Well, let's see if they'll let us draw any cards. Okay, no, they're just going to prohibit immediately. Okay. Now, that could be a lot worse. It could have been a removal spell. Uh, let's get some damage in.
Sweet. Okay, we win that match. Just uh, managed to get lucky. Opponent was on the mulligan and did not have a Hydro Blast for our Kiln Fiend. So we were just able to uh, attack in with it twice. That's all it took. Okay, not Kiln Fiend. Probably Ponza. Wonderful when the opponent doesn't have it. Yeah. God, I felt like we got really lucky on that one. Just wondering if we should go for it here. We could play the Kiln Fiend and try and kill them next turn. Some of these uh, Ponza decks don't even play Lightning Bolt. We're going to get greedy here. Ponza has almost no interaction with our creatures, correct? Almost no interaction. Draw the land. Maybe we should have attacked first. Oh, mutagenic. Is that just lethal? I think it is. Take 24 on turn 3. When this deck is good, it's really good. Alright, so playing against Ponza. Let me take a quick look at my Ponza list. It's going to be different from theirs, but um, I can at least get a quick idea of what I'm looking at. So they could be bringing in Cannonade. Um, probably some life gain, either Disciple or Weather the Storm. Uh, I think I actually just resubmit as is. Don't need Pyro, don't need Flaring Pain, don't need Rage Hound, don't need Brute Force. Lightning Bolt is like barely a consideration. Can you still cook a Mold Shambler if you cascade into it? You can if you have the mana available without using any other abilities. Um, and I say that because one time I had tapped out, and I, I had an Arbor Elf untapped, but all my mana was tapped, and I cascaded into Mold Shambler, and I wasn't able to Arbor Elf to untap my land to pay for the kicker. Only one creature, but I'm going to keep it. We have Teamer Battle Rage. I don't think we'll get a turn three with Festival Crasher, but... Uh, ooh, that's a good start. That is their best start. So let's slow them down. And we managed to draw a Kiln Fiend. That's perfect. And they have no other land? Wow. Okay. Don't fiend go. Well, they found land there. And they have removal. Okay. And weather. Oh, 
Oh, mutagenic growth. Where were you? I needed you last turn. This deck is such a troll. Burning Prophet. Bottom the extra land. Oh, love the Faithless looting. Uh, yeah, on top. Discard Faithless, Faithless. On top. Hope they don't have another weather here. Um, yeah, on top. Just wondering if I want another one of those. And bottom for that. Alright, there's another weather the storm. They're gaining a lot of life. Just thinking if I want to Muta here. Sixteen, thirty-two, thirty-nine. Put them to two. Lava dart you for lethal. I think this is lethal. <laughs> eat that weather the storm my god what was that a weather the storm storm was what five it wasn't enough we're on the play one land hand but we have faithless i'm gonna keep this No one survives the storm that is hot dogs. Okay, land is something I wanted here. I think we discard Burning Prophet land. Oh, that's not something they get hits by Lava Dart. I think I want to get aggressive here. Let's play the Crasher. Maybe the deck should be named Sausage Party. <laughs> uh, 
I would like to kill the vanguard if you would just let me. Apparently not. Actually, let's play the Burning Prophet and then we'll Ancestral Anger so that we can get a scry. We're going to be wanting to try and get a big turn next turn here. So we'll bottom that. Get a Kiln Fiend. Let's attack for four. Oh, that's in the way. Metamorphose is a cool draw. Can we wait one turn? I don't think we can. They have Timber Watch Elf. Unfortunately, we do not have um, Team of Battle Rage. We could Metamorphose, Crash Through, Double Lava Dart. Might be enough. And we also get the Scry every time. Oh my god, I love... Love Burning Prophet on top. Apostle's Blessing. Don't think we have time for that. Bottom. Another Lava Dart. Oh, that's sweet. One, two, three mana, which is exactly enough. This might be lethal. Well, we're going to go for it regardless. Ancestral Anger. I don't think that's better than Lava Dart. And taking a blocker off the field isn't going to do any good, so we'll just Dart Dart. That's uh, 17 so far, and we can continue to knock that up. Sign blocking order, okay. So that's 4 minus 8. Um, that's a lot. 8 is a lot. So currently we have 6... We have 9 damage coming through, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so that is lethal. Better not have miscounted, or I am dead. Maybe we shouldn't calculate for lethal once we've committed our... I kind of felt like I had to commit. Like, they had Timber Watch Elf down. That's why I didn't play Kiln Fiend. So, I was committed. I was just trying to figure out, can we get there? And we could. The thing is, like, with some of our cards, because we're drawing a card as we go, right? So, Mana Morphos, I cast that. I didn't know if I was going to be able to get there. I revealed Metamorphose, and I was like, let's go for it.
All right, so if we're playing against elves, we're going to want some form of removal. Let's bring in the lightning bolts. Um, mutagenic growth, I was like... So Pyro's coming in? You know, there would be spells for Pyroblast to hit. But uh, no, we're not going to bring it in versus elves. I think we just take out the mutagenics here. Apostles' Blessings can, like, will give a creature pro green and make it unblockable. Yeah, a Crow and Crusader did feel weird. I just wish I had a one drop that I could be, be happy with in this deck. Uh, no creatures here. Must mull. We have creatures, but no lands. A. Get rid of this. And I guess get rid of that. I have seen that some P some lists still are running the uh, the Seder as a one drop, just having the the single one drop, which I think is uh, probably pretty good. Definitely missing having one drops in this list. We we usually just don't have very much to do on turn one. Yeah, and it also depends really how you build your deck, right? Like, Hoplite is fine with uh, Teamer Battle Rage. Um, what were the other ones? Fists of Flame, Ancestral Anger, Brute Force. You know, those cards all play well with Hoplite. Uh, Mutagenic Growth, Apostles Blessing, obviously. Alright, let's uh, kill the Mystic. Speaking of something to do on turn one. How about Goldhound? Which one is Goldhound? Interesting, interesting. I think the Hoplite is going to be better than that. Maybe I should have killed the Land War Elf with the Lava Dart there? Nah. Better to um, have the Lava Dart grow my Kiln Fiend. Probably going to want to kill the Quirion Ranger anyway. Gutshot sounds amazing. Love Gutshot. That would absolutely be a card you could play in this list. So we're going to have to kill this. This might be lethal. Definitely going to do this anyway. Seven, ten, thirteen. I think it's lethal no matter what they do. Now, if they're not blocking, I'm just going to lob it at you. All right, and we managed to put this league to 3-0, and we managed to beat my nemesis.
All right, all right. All right, this hand looks fine. We'll definitely keep this. <laughs> Easy 3 0 first try. Exactly. The streamer first try. Hey, thanks, streamer Sango. Knew it can count on you. Which reminds me, I gotta start asking people. YouTube, please, like and subscribe. Apparently it makes a big difference. Like, if you don't ask for it, people won't do it. Although I gotta ask at the start, so... It's gonna be something that I have to, uh... Try to add to my, um... My openers. Was definitely considering throwing a lava dart at their face just to get it in the graveyard. Uh, what is this? This is probably Mogwarts. So I'm a, I'm potentially dead next turn. I don't think they can kill me this turn though. Hoping for a land on top. Nice. So I think I just play Kiln Fiend Attack. Because we don't have double strike, so I don't think we can win. Let's do the math, okay? We might actually have the win, because this is a lot of damage. So, uh, Ancestral Anger, Ancestral Anger, Lava Dart, Mutagenic Growth, Lava Dart. So that's one, two, three, four, five spells. Um... Five times three is fifteen plus one sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one. Yeah, this is lethal. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's true. Lava Dart to Prospector just to take it off the board. Doesn't need it, no need as a blocker here. Okay, hey, let's attack. Oh, Reckoner's Bargain to gain two. All right, so 13... 14, 15, uh, 18, 21, 22 exactly. Do not tell me you have Lightning Bolt here. Uh, lightning Bolt wouldn't work. And they don't have enough artifacts for Gal Blast. And they wouldn't play Lightning Bolt anyway. Okay. Turn 3 win. That's crazy! I mean, if they don't have the remover for Kiln Fiend. Dead gone? That's not common, is it? I'm pretty sure that's rare, right? Uh, 
Uh, so let's see here. Playing against... It's common? Damn! Now, uh, regardless, two damage wouldn't have been enough. But if they had gone instead of uh, casting the gain life spell, yeah, that would have sucked. I'm going to take a quick look at my list for Mogwarts. Um, do I have it listed under Mogwarts or Goblin Combo? Okay. Makeshift Munitions is a pain, but it's slow. They have uh, Kirk Clan, Shaman, Fiery Cannonade. Alright, they have some cards, but not a lot of good ones. I think I'm just going to stick with it as is. Could potentially bring in some Brute Force instead of the Apostle's Blessings. I don't think Apostle's Blessing is doing very much for us. Yeah, at the end, right? Because dead is one mana and gone is, what, three mana? But before they cast the um, uh, gain two life, draw two cards, they had three mana. Or even more than that, actually, because of the, uh, the Skirt Prospector. Yeah, we'll keep this. Alright, opponents on the play. Let's get that F6 value. Draw another land. Next turn. Start with Kiln Fiend. Probably go Kiln Fiend on turn three as well, depending on our draws here. We're going to need some pretty good draws to uh, be able to get a turn three going on this one. Yeah, this looks like a turn four hand. And Mogwarts can win on turn four from nothing. All they need, four lands. Four lands on the battlefield and enough cards in hand. That'll do it. I think they only even need three cards in hand. The um, Prospector, the uh... <laughs> Swamp Goblin, and... Um... First day. Putrid Goblin, that's it. Hey, what's up? Um, what do you think about Pioneer at the moment? Would you stream it? Uh, probably not. I'm not too into Pioneer at the moment. Um, I played it for a while when it was fresh. Uh, it is fresh again, but I don't know. I kind of feel like I've... Uh, Got my thing going here with Popper and Modern. I don't really uh, want to be learning a new format at the moment, especially one that previously disappointed me. I hope you all can understand. So if we Lava Dart the Prospector, I don't think they have the ability to win next turn. And then we should be pretty set with our Double Killed Fiends. I did see that there was a recent banning in Pioneer. I almost want to play Burning Prophet so we play around Cannonade. Worse for the damage though, if we play the Kiln Fiend, we probably just win next turn. Go for Glory or go for Safety? I'm greedy. Let's go for glory. And besides, they need to have cannonade and land. Ooh, they played land. They played land, chat. We could be uh, up the creek without a paddle here. I'm going to get some scries in. Yeah, Winota and um, Expressive Iteration. Let's 
Festival Crasher. Another creature that doesn't die to cannonade. Yeah, I'm gonna top that one. Ooh, I like that one. Let's keep that. Alright, um, we got lethal here, so cannonade or bust? I guess they could just have lightning bolt as well. The anticipation is killing me. Okay, so they got weather. Weather is pretty good. Could even set them up for the win here. Uh, let's lava dart, get the maximum amount of damage we can here. I should have left the Lava Dart to um, stop the combo. It's not like we have enough damage here to win. Yeah, I should have left the Lava Dart. That would have been a way for us to um, interrupt their combo, and then it would have been pretty much guaranteed that we win. Oh, there's the fourth land, and they have four cards in hand. So they could have it here. We could just be dead. First day of class is how they start. Oh, it looks like they discarded a card and they weren't able to find the last piece or whatever. And that makes the League 4-0. And a two-land hand with a creature. We'll keep. Oh, yours has 19. I like that. Definitely like that. You playing the four Faithless? Okay. Forest to start. Wild Growth. Okay. Ponza, probably. Play the Burning Prophet. That'll help us find more lands, along with the Faithless looting. All right, another forest. Are you going to kill my land here? Gain a life? And make me regret my decisions on playing snow-covered lands instead of regulars? I absolutely did take a moment to think, like, I should be playing regular mountains. And then I thought, ah... I don't have 17 copies of the same mountain unless it's snow covered. But opponents like, I don't need the same art on my lands. Okay, we're going to kill that. Don't lightning bolt my profit. Okay. And we get a land. Nice. Oh yeah, on top. Manamorphose. Um, kind of want another land, and we have Faithless looting to get rid of it. 
if we don't want it later. Just because they're um, pawns, are right? So having those extra lands might be important, maybe. Oh yeah, top that. I really like another creature, though. Uh, profit, I mean, the scries, the scries are amazing. And it survives Cannonade, where Majoring Bully maybe doesn't. Um, I think that, personally, I think Burning Prophet is better than Majoring Bully. <laughs> Darcy at home, exactly. All right, let's Faithless. Get rid of this, and... Probably actually just want to get rid of the two lands, honestly. All right. Take six. Uh, TBR is nowhere near as good with Burning Prophet as it is with Kiln Fiend. It's going to be hard to get this uh, Prophet to get Trample. I guess tra Crash Through just gives it Trample anyways. Oh, Festival Crasher. Nice. Play that. Uh, what is this? Boarding party? Just tap the other land. No, I want to hold up Lightning Bolt. There it is. Boarding party reveals thermal karst. Oh, uh, should I have lava darted there? Eh, wasn't really going to do much good. Ooh, getting aggressive. So, if we draw land, and they don't destroy a land, we can crash through Lobadart TBR. Probably looking at just crash through Hold Up Apostles Blessing. Opponent's board is uh, looking kind of scary. Okay, not land destruction. That's good. Okay, no bolt. All right, attack. Good. Yeah, we got to win now. Crasher down. Um, so let's see here. We go Teamer Battle Rage, Lava Dart. That's just not going to be enough. Let's crash through, try and find a mountain. Bottom. Mountain. Nice. Okay. Okay. 
Let's see what we can do. Um, do we want this? Actually seems kind of good if we get another turn. If we need another turn, on top. Lava dart. Does it matter where we throw the lava dart? I don't think it does. I hope so. I think we do. Because this is 20 on the Kiln Fiend. So yeah, Kiln Fiend by itself should be enough. Even without the Trample from Festival Crasher and uh, Burning Prophet. Oh yeah, more than enough. Math is for blockers. Exactly, Dracuz. Sweet. Or to quote uh, Snap Bolt. Sick. Um, don't think we make any changes. I think we play this out just as exactly the same as it was. Um, opponent's going to have access to a little bit of removal. Not very much. Yeah, this is the screen I wanted. Ponza. You're going to have access to Lightning Bolt and Fiery Cannonade out of the side. And maybe, um... Weather the storm. We could bring in brute force. Thinking Brute Force might be better than Apostle's Blessing. They're playing uh, two colors, so Apostle's Blessing... I mean, Apostle's Blessing Green is almost always going to give Unblockable. Is Bolt better than Looting here? Ah, I don't know. Looting is just so strong. Finding us the lands we need. Saving us from Flood. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking, Mercy. And there's definitely, there's definitely some argument to be had for Bolt. What matchups do I even want to bring Bolt in for? If not this one. All right, well, we're running out of time here. We're going to submit like this. And uh, if we go to a game three, we'll consider Bolt again. All right, so no creatures in this one. We must mulligan. One land hand against the Ponza deck. And no Faithless. We are on the draw, however. Uh, but Anger draws cards, or draws card. Oh my good god. Okay, we found the land. Oh no, but they're going to destroy this land now. Woof. All right, there's the Faithless.
they have another land destruction spell here, we are probably dead. No, no land destruction spell. But we missed on land ourselves. So let's Faithless. And we miss on land again. Ugh. I didn't want to switch places. I want to discard those things. Opponent's got to be pretty happy to see that. And there's going to be a boarding party. No, Albert, that's not enough mana. Learn to count. Let's use another Ancestral Anger, I guess. And there's Acid Moss. We dead. Is Owlbear is gonna kill us? <laughs> oh, that's uh that's Ponza for you. All right, we're on the play this time. Looking for two lands and a Kiln Fiend. How about three lands and two creatures, but no Kiln Fiend? I'll keep it. Oh, if it wasn't Ponza, I think we were fine. Lava Dart would have been really nice in this hand. Crasher is almost as good, yep. Kiln Fiend at home. Okay, that's a good start, but not their best start. Pons is really good. Pons is really good in Popper. Solid choice. All green mana. There you go. Yep. Cooper said it. Pons is really good. He didn't put that little last bit in there in Popper, but, you know, I understand. Yeah, that's what uh, MTG Bot says, but MTG Bot doesn't always know what's what. If you start a league on one day and then um, stop playing and then rejoin the next day or next week or whatever, MTG Bot won't know what your score is. So opponent is 01 today, but we don't know what their whole league is. Like to think the pumpkin is Festival Crasher's head is his head because the more I look at the art, the less I want it to look at me. So many candles, so many flammables, so little time. Uh, here comes an attack. Right? Look at that smile. Just having so much fun. Oh, well, Arbor Elf is going to make a lot of mana next turn. Stop. Oh, yeah, I see it. I see the smile in the eyes. Nice. And then, like, maybe a little bit of a goatee or something? Oh, 
Oh yeah, in the back by the mirror or something, the little rock face. Could be a jack-o'-lantern. Makes more sense. It would be a jack-o'-lantern, obviously. Why would there be a glowing face on a rock? Start with Crash Through. Gravity Falls. Oh, that was a really good show. Mutagenic Growth. Nice draw. Um, it's a lot of damage. I don't know if it's death. It's a lot of damage, though. Alright, so it doesn't really matter what I cast these on. It's just going to be the same damage regardless. So that's six. Another 6 is 12, and another 4 is 16, 22, I think this is Xaxes. Take this much damage. Finally. Friends, it has been a minute since we have gotten a trophy. It has been a long time. And I'm happy to say we finally got it. All right, so this is the deck that we were playing today. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, then... Uh, You've seen the uh, the success, the uh, the hot run with hot dad <laughs> with hot dogs. If you were watching this on Twitch, then you know that this started out um, as an O3. So <laughs> the deck it can run really really hot, or it can just be really really cold. The deck is cold to removal. So if you're playing against somebody with you know like a bunch of lightning bolts or. Uh, cast downs or what have you you're gonna have a really hard time even with you know the four apostles blessings and the four mutagenic growths you can still just get uh taken out of the game by removal decks that being said if the opponent does not have the specific interaction they require to take your turn two kiln fiend off the table this deck can win on turn three and that's actually a really big deal for Popper. Um, most decks have a turn four win or later if they're looking to, you know, like play into the late game. But um, Burn is a turn four deck most of the time. I think they have, like, I think it's possible turn three. Um, Mogwarts is mostly a turn four deck. This one here, though, turn two kill and fiend, turn three win. That's how we write it up. Uh, yeah, definitely like the sideboard. We were talking about some potential uh, cards that could be put in here, like Gutshot seems like a really, really good option to be able to, for free, take a blocker off the board, pump your Kiln Fiend. Um, definitely really like the Underworld Rage Hound, so definitely want to keep that. But, um, yeah, uh, what can I say? The deck performed very well in this league. I uh, really, really liked how um, quick... It could be, so if you're looking for a deck that uh, you can get through multiple leagues very quickly with and potentially, you know, get some prizes and trophies with, this could be the deck for you. Uh, regardless, it is a, um, a powerful option in Popper and something that, uh, at the very least, if you're playing Popper, you should be aware of it and... Uh, this deck should show you how important having access to removal really is in the format. It's not all value. Sometimes it's just about running your opponent over.